Adome. I grew up in Busia, Kenya. It's a border town between Kenya and the Ugandan border. So we have Busia, Kenya and Busia, Uganda. Grew up most of my life in the rural farm because my parents are farmers. I just finalized um, my Watson Fellowship specifically focusing on the study of African theater both in Europe and Sub-Saharan Africa. And yeah, and right now I want to talk more about my use of only travel throughout my Watson years. I was fortunate enough to live in London for four and a half months and then a month in Edinburgh, Scotland, and then three months in South Africa, specifically in Johannesburg and Cape Town. And final, I finalized my fellowship in Kigali, Rwanda for a period of seven weeks. Um, yeah, those are the places that I visited throughout my, my year. First of all, it's three bags in one. This mm -hmm. is the large suitcase. We have this one and this one. So it being three bags in one, I can split it during my destination or during field work, and I can easily move with only this one, or when needed, I can easily move with these two backpacks. Secondly, the ruggedness. Uh, of the bag and how strong and the durability of the bag was also an important factor for me to take the bags because I knew not only will I be in urban setting, but I will also be in rural setting. Specifically in sub-Saharan Africa, there's a lot of dust and the durability of this bag to absorb dust and also to easily clean it, it's water resilient. Um, has water resilient fabric. That was another reason why I took it. So I knew I could um, use it for a long period. The modular design of only travel backpack. And when I say modular, I mean, um, you can use it, you can mix and match it in different ways. We can easily start by having this parking cubes they are all named and tagged for each purposes this one is for socks and shoes and uh, this one is for toiletries as you can see all my toiletries are in here the modular designs of the backpack it has the front and rear units where you can place your tablet or laptop um very useful during the interviewing process in the field work but also during my flights because sometimes i will have to submit my watson quarterly reports and i will be like on the road so i could be on my fly and still um put my laptop and keep working on it okay first of all if anyone has gone to london during the fall and the winter period you know how rainy it is um I will always leave the place that I was volunteering, the View magazine, around 4 p.m. But by the time I'll arrive to my accommodation, it will have been raining throughout. But this backpack, which I often use these two backpacks, uh -huh. they are very water resilient. So my laptop and my tablet will still be intact. Traveled a lot before my Watson Fellowship. So having these um, quick parking cubes removed a lot of stress in parking, but also since the bag is three in one, I, there was no need to check a bag. So if I felt like I was running late for a flight, I knew I was not going to check a bag. I'm looking into graduate programs, uh, specifically in public policy, because this fellowship has given me an opportunity to understand specifically gender inequality in creative art spaces, but also uh, gender inequality, not only in education, but also in terms of um, employment both in Europe and Sub-Saharan Africa. But um, if also when, if things go well, I could use my Watsonia to create um, 
a movie 